just learned the driver and the passenger in that stolen car that started this chase are both in custody this morning and they both had warrants out for their arrest. Police say the driver of this car was 25 year old Jarius Moore and the passenger was 32 year old Reggie Johnson. Investigators say the chase started near 38th and Moeller around 9 p.m. when an IMPD officer tried to stop the car for a traffic violation, but the driver refused to stop and he took off. The chase ended at 34th in Georgetown when the stolen car crossed into oncoming traffic and hit the SUV head on. That's when the stolen car flipped. Inside that car was also a two year old little girl and a 25 year old woman. All four people inside the stolen car and the driver of the other SUV went to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. The little girl may have had a broken leg. IMPD did not realize the car was stolen until after the crash, but they're now telling us it was stolen about a month ago. Again, the driver and the passenger of this car are both in custody this morning. In addition to those outstanding warrants, the driver will also face charges for causing this wreck and running from police. We'll keep you updated when we learn what specific charges those are. Scott and Lauren. Okay. Jessica, what have you learned? Well, local news outlets in Kentucky are saying this state trooper has died after being shot in Lyon County in Kentucky during a high speed chase. You can see it right here. This is in the southwestern portion of the state. Again, it happened during a high speed chase on I-24. Now the suspect is still on the loose. According to the county's Facebook page, the county's Facebook page said the suspect is armed and dangerous. They're advising people to stay inside their homes with their doors and windows locked. Again, Kentucky State Trooper shot and killed during a high speed chase. We're working to learn more information about this. We'll bring it to you as soon as we learn it here from the alert desk. Jessica Smith, 24 hour news eight. Jessica, I know you've got a picture. What have you learned here this morning? Yeah, we're still working to learn details on this right now, but we know this is near 30th and Martin Luther King. We want to give you a new angle so you can see what's happening right now. Crews were just called out around 545. Now we have a crew on the way. They'll be learning more about what started this fire and what crews are working with right now, but IMPD is there helping with traffic. So if you can avoid that area, that would probably be best as crews are working there trying to put out this fire. You can see heavy flames and smoke right now. Again, like I said, we do have a crew on the way, so we'll be sure to bring you updates as soon as we get them here on daybreak. Right, I just spoke to our photographer who's there at the scene. He says this involves two homes. The good news is both of those homes are vacant. So as, as of right now, what we know is no one was inside. No one was hurt in this fire, so that's more good news there. They say it started in one of the houses and then moved to the next in a passerby. Someone just walking by the area called 911 and reported the flames. Now our photographer says that flames have been popping back up here in the past few minutes. He initially said Flames look to be out, but now he's starting to see those pop back up again. So crews are there working to get those flames out, get all of those hot spots out. 30th Street is blocked. MLK is open, but we know 30th Street is blocked off right now. Now we are going to stay at this scene. We'll keep bringing you updates about how this fire started as soon as that information becomes available. Scott and Lauren. Okay, Jessica, thanks so much. And Jessica. A Kentucky State Police say 31 year old Joseph Cameron Ponder died at the hospital after being shot during a high speed chase. We're getting our first look at his picture. Now we want to show it to you here. He is on the left and the suspect is there on the right. Police say the suspect is 25 year old Joseph Thomas Johnson Shanks. Officials say it all started with a traffic stop when the suspect drove away from Ponder. Suddenly the suspect came to a quick stop, forcing the troopers car to ram into the suspects. The suspect then fired several shots into Ponder's car. Police are still looking for that suspect. Officials say he is armed and dangerous. They're warning people to keep their doors and windows locked if they live in that area. Again, 31 year old Kentucky State Trooper died at the hospital after being shot during this chase and the hunt is on for his killer. We'll keep you updated as we learn more throughout the morning. Jessica Smith joins us at the alert desk with the information. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning. We just got word the first meeting will be on Wednesday morning. The task force will meet at Eskenazi from nine in the morning to one o'clock in the afternoon. This task force is made up of more than 20 people from various backgrounds, all working to find a solution to the state's growing drug problems. You may remember Governor Pence launched this task force at the beginning of the month. This comes after more than 150 heroin deaths so far this year. Again, Governor Pence's drug task force will meet for the first time on Wednesday morning. We'll be sure to keep you updated on what comes out of that meeting when it happens. Scott and Lauren. Jessica. 
Right, the deputy clerk says he will issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples despite objections from Kim Davis. This is the same clerk who previously said he would disobey his boss if necessary. So it looks like same-sex couples will receive marriage licenses from the clerk's deputies today. But the big question here is, are these licenses legal? It's not clear because Davis's name will not be on the licenses. Davis says she doesn't know if they'll be valid and says a federal judge did not know either. We know deputies issued at least seven licenses to same sex couples while she was in jail. Now those licenses did not have her name on them either and the state's governor and attorney general said they were valid. So we're going to have to wait and see how this plays out with licenses going forward. Scott Lord. Yeah.